Music Ready. Let it roll for a second. This is his theme. Steve Daddy Longlegs, Alanius, president of the McAllen Chamber of Commerce. We've never quite forgotten the that image of him coming in after the gym one morning to the studio. That's why we have him on phone this morning. Steve Alanius joining us on 710 KURV. Steve O, how are you this Friday? Serge, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> it is always he a says pleasure. sarcastically. <laughs> it's good to talk to you, my friend. All right, so you got this uh, symposium, this get together with Mexico leaders, local leaders talking about the massive Burgos Basin. So much potential for an economic explosion, but dude, Mexico needs to get it right, man. Absolutely. You know, there are challenges. Uh, we're creating, a, we're launching today or creating today a consortium of communities, entities, and economic development corporations that are interested in a collaborative effort in terms of working together and see how our region can take advantage of what's going to happen uh, just south of Reynosa. Uh, the big difference between what's happened up in the Eagle Ford Shell versus what's going to happen here is Mexico. Yeah. And obviously they're a key player. And uh, we're fortunate today. We have a, we're making the announcement at 10 o'clock. We have several key players that are coming uh, from the state of Tamaulipas that are going to be a part of this announcement. Uh, we're excited. We've got basically four key goals that we're going to try to achieve. One is looking at and finding the economic impact and kind of the gap analysis. Where are the opportunities that are going to exist? Second one is going to be workforce development. You know, obviously having the folks trained that can take advantage of those jobs is critically important. Business expansion and development on the U.S. side, because obviously when you have this huge abundance of natural gas and other oil byproducts, it's going to mean there's opportunities to attract companies that are intensive users of that type of energy. And so that's going to be a new uh, crinkle that we're going to have for our region in terms of attracting industry. And then the final is helping Mexico in terms of their expansion and growth as far as this type of industry. And so we see it as a, as, as a very good opportunity to collaborate on a real win-to-win basis for everybody. Yeah, understood. But i got to say, Steve, the 800-pound gorilla in the room, that would be security, man. That's it. There's, that's got to be at the very top of the list because we, we can't do none of that unless we know for sure that the investors and the workers, everybody's going to be safe. So Absolutely. Yeah. And I think this may be, become the tipping point for the state of Tamaulipas. Uh, you, know, you and I have talked over the last five or six years about the trends and what, what's happened in Mexico. I, I can promise you uh, there will be ways to fix it and to get around it. Uh, it's going to require some innovative thinking. Yeah. Well, it's not that they're not trying. They've got the military, uh, you know, patrolling up and down the highways and in the streets. And yes, we hear still hear with the, from the Makila guys. They, they're still telling us, you know, it doesn't make the news, but the firefight still exists down there, and they're sure. hunkering down. And you know, and, and they've put, put these commanders in charge of regions. You know, some poor guy in the Laredo area was killed on the highway to uh, Nuevo Leon as well. They, we need a, a stronger show of force and a commitment from the the Mexican government to get rid of this narco violence uh, in order for it to happen. And we want it desperately to happen because the potential for wealth creation, it's there, man. Absolutely. To the point where we might even see some of these folks that are working here in the country go back south to the border to to go work in Mexico. You know, Sergio, the other thing you got to remember is just in the McAllen MSA, there's over 2,500 Maquila managers, U.S. managers, that go into Reynosa every day. So it is, uh, it, it, it's still operational. There's still things happening. There's still growth and expansion happening. And we just think that this may become that tipping point yeah. for the region. Then for, and, and these folks are coming here. Where are they meeting today with you? We're meeting at the McAllen Chamber of Commerce. Okay. We're going to have an announcement. Uh, we're excited about it. There's two things that we want to uh, see happen. We want to see, uh, first of all, to uh, retain probably UTRGV and doing a feasibility and economic gap study about what the, what the potential is. And then second, sometime in late March 2015, we're going to have a confab with all the different players and uh, have some folks good. come down and talk about what the opportunity is. Very are. good. Steve Eleni is president of the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, joining us on 710KURV. Steve, Tim Sullivan here. And there's, a, there's a point of view. Uh, there are some who feel that this, this huge influx of capitalism, the, the jobs, the big oil companies, will just kind of by the sheer force of all that capitalistic economic development will shove the cartels aside. Um, is that... Is that what you mean when you say this is a tipping point? I think so. 
I think so. I think you, when you have that type of uh, economic play happening in a region on an international scale, uh, it can be a turning point for any region. What does Mexico have to do when, when we say they have to get it right? What does that mean? What does that entail? Well, I think a couple of things. I think they've got to, keep, you know, they've got to have the infrastructure uh, to, in order to exploit it. One of the key things that Mexico doesn't have, and I think the reason why they uh, opened up investment into the energy field, is they don't have the technology that we have in the United States that can take advantage of this type of uh, oil uh, sh- shale play that you see being done in the Eagle Ford shale. Second, they don't get, have fracking capability? They or? do not. They do not have that technology. Uh, and so I think that's where our role in terms of the United yeah. States and, the, and international companies that have that technology that can come in and do that. Yep. The second key thing is in that Tamaulipas area, they produce 20% of Mexico's energy. What? So they already have some of the key infrastructures in place in order to take advantage of it. So it's really kind of bringing some key elements together uh, and taking advantage of them. It's a potential revolution on the education side, Steve, as well, oh, getting absolutely. the workers ready. Uh, there's so, the potential for so many thousands of jobs to be created in this new energy, oil, gas yeah. sector, uh, logistics, transportation, extraction, all that type of stuff. That's going to be a real challenge for Mexico and for us on our side yeah, to, to keep up with those. Uh, that absolutely. Job. But I think it's, uh, you, know, you, t- you know, Sergio, you look at what's happening with SpaceX with all that. You look at what's happening with the yes, new sir. university. You look what's happening with the Burgos Field. And I think it's what an exciting uh, time. I, I think we need to take the ball and punch it over the goal. Well, line. good luck, Steve. Yeah, and keep us uh, keep in tune. Uh, keep us uh, updated on what's going on. That's uh, Steve Alanius, and that's his name. Steve Alanius, president of the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, joining us on 710 KURB.